So what if you could not only invest for high returns, but also have an impact with your investing by focusing on companies that were really, really careful about the way they treated the environment, sustainability within their company and how they treated their staff and company overall. I'm sure you probably agree with me that is one of the best win-win scenarios. Welcome guys to Maximize Your Money where you subscribe to get the latest on investing and the stock market. In this video, of course, we're going to be focusing on a new concept called ESG investing. Before I found out about ESG investing or ethical investing, I pretty much exclusively focused on looking at investments for the <laughs> highest returns possible. So when I found it was actually possible to get high returns and also actually focus on companies that were really caring about the future of our economy, it was just like a no-brainer and it really, really got my attention. In this video, I've done a lot of research to find out all about what ESG investing is, why it actually potentially does deliver superior returns, and most importantly, how can you have access to an ESG fund from the UK and do that in a really, really easy way. So if that sounds exciting, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end as we'll be covering all these topics. With that being said, let's get started with first defining what ESG investing actually is. So ESG investing is a short term for environmental social and corporate governance factors so essentially it's a framework that allows any type of investor to be able to see that a company is following a set of guidelines that they really do focus on areas of the environment social aspects the way they treat employees suppliers and corporate governance so the way that company is structured and managed as well this is actually quite important because you'll notice that all of these things actually do in some way or another indirectly or directly contribute towards the success of a business if in today's environment a company is very much focused on doing well for the environment so they have sustainability there then people are much more likely to be happy with that product if on the other hand you know they have bad environmental practices it's very much likely that in today's environment where people are much more socially conscious environmentally conscious they're going to focus on really eliminating companies that are actually harming the environment and the same thing goes to treatment of employees and the way companies are run as well we are very much looking for now not just returns on our investments but also most importantly, how companies are being run and if they align with our values as well. Further, the data backs this because according to research and data provided by Morningstar, the total amount of money invested in sustainable funds have actually rose by 50% in 2020 to just under $1.7 trillion. So huge amounts of money flowing in and it just goes to show really the importance of how we consider these factors in our investing decision. So as you can see, I've got the screen up with us here and we're actually on Motley Fool itself. And we can see the E is for the environmental factors. So, you know, this actually focuses on climate change policies, plans, carbon footprint, recycling and safe disposal practices, green products, technology and infrastructure. I mean, all these things, you know, very much important in our society today. So a company focused on these things, it does show us an actual indication that they have a eye for the future. They're thinking long term, they're thinking about the environment. And of course, how important is that at this time due to things like climate change, etc. On the other hand, we can see that the S factor here is for social and this focuses very much on employee treatment, pay, benefits, perks, you know, employee training and development. Um, this is something that I think is extremely important. I do have a background in understanding how important HR is and the people of a business. You might have actually heard that when you build the people of a business, they go ahead and build the business because they're the ones that are going out there looking after the customers, you know, making sure that the brand has a really good image and if people are really enjoying their time in that company, then you know they're going to be working more, being more productive, and that productivity is going to hopefully reflect in increasing returns for that business as well. And then finally, G is for corporate governance. So um, maybe it sounds like a bit of a fancy term, but essentially, you know, looking at things like executive compensation, bonuses and perks, and maybe you'll have seen like some companies have a CEO or like, you know, their, their board of directors getting huge, huge pay packages and other workers in that company go on strike because they are not happy with the way that they're compensated in regards to um, the overall structure of the business. So these things are really important. And when people feel like they're being treated fairly and the company's being run in a sustainable way as well, 
that also has a great impact on that business moving long term. Okay, so why is ESG investing actually important now we've understood what ESG is and the factors that contribute towards ESG? So of course, if a company is passed through this filter, the company is much more likely to perceive better in the eyes of the public. If you know that the company that you've invested in has considered all these factors, you're going to want to support that most likely much, much more than somebody that is out there you know, polluting the environment, treating staff really unwell. And of course, it's very much like a great marketing tool to be able to say, yes, we have got all these factors considered and we are thinking long-term for the future. So it's positive for the brand image as the point number one. The second point is a really big one. And this kind of blew my eyes when I was doing the research about this, because actually when companies are following an ESG framework, and have those considerations, it does actually mitigate the risk or takes out the risk of that company potentially getting into legal problems or like failing to actually meet regulatory requirements because you know, if a company is following good environmental practices, they are less likely to get in trouble in that area. If they're following good practices with treatment of their staff and employees, then also they're much more likely to avoid things like, you know, problems with internal stakeholders having lots of politics so it just prevents scandals and it's better for the business long term for those reasons as well and of course good management of a company as a third point is really key because it does go a long way i'm sure most people can relate if they've ever worked at a company before if you've got a really really great management team you are much more likely to like want to be there to want to do your best work um, on the other hand, you know, you, maybe you can relate to this as well. If you've had an uh, experience at a company where the management is really bad, that might leave you feeling much more demotivated. You might just, you know, not respect the company as much because they're not running things properly. And that is really true for this case as well. When you've got good management, people are doing well, everybody's happy. And overall, like I said before, that productivity increases. And that, of course, shows up on the balance sheet at the end of the day as well. So the last reason as to why ESGs are potentially really important is because a data that we've got from a report here shows that actually ESG focused companies have been shown to financially outperform companies that actually don't have as much of a focus on ESG factors. So having a look here at Motley Fool, it says plenty of data backs up the notion that ESG companies are also well run, ultimately producing financial results comparable or superior to their low ESG peers. Fortune cited data from asset management startup found that S&P 500 companies in the top quintile in terms of ESG attributes outperform those in the bottom quintile by more than 25 percentage points. And that was a four year study as you can see here, which is crazy. And uh, the ESG company stock prices were also less volatile. So proof in the pudding there. And what's really, really key then is that you might be wondering at this point, okay, that's fantastic. It's really nice to know that ESG funds do really well and actually they've been shown to outperform as well, but how on earth could I get access to them? And actually I've previously done a video up here and it talks about why I'm investing 20,000 pounds in 2021 in my UK stocks and shares ISA. I personally will access this fund through a UK stocks and share ISA. I really recommend you watch out this video because it actually shows you the benefits of having a UK stocks and shares ISA. And one of those things is that actually at this current time, all profits that you'd make from your investments are completely tax free. So it's a really good one to watch to get a better understanding of how you might want to open up an account to really take advantage of a fund like this, for example. Um, just a good point to say here, I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. This is purely just my own opinions and everything is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So let's get into the exciting stuff. How can you access an ESG fund and have access to companies that are focused on things that are helping our future? Number one, actually, I've got my favorite broker up on the screen with us here. My broker of preferred choice is Vanguard. The reason I like Vanguard is because they have nice, really low fees, they're easy to access, and they've got a great philosophy behind the company as well. So here we go, let's go and check out the fund. I'm gonna just give you a deep dive as to what to expect with the fund, what it actually does. And as you can see here, here is the Vanguard website. Um, literally, you're able to find Vanguard just by typing in Vanguard into Google or vanguardinvestor.co.uk. So this fund is specifically called the ESG Developed World All Cap Equity Index Fund Accumulation. And in short, just to break that down for you, it just means that actually they focus on ESG factors. It focuses on the developed world, so you'll see developed nations here. 
All cap just basically means it's companies of every different size. So you have small companies, medium sized companies and large cap companies. And uh, the index fund just means it's compromised of a number of companies all within this fund. Actually, we can see here there's over 4,100 stocks, uh, which is great for diversification and accumulation. Just to kind of finish off there, just means all the dividends that get paid out to us as investors are reinvested back into the fund to fuel the growth and boost long-term gains as well. If you had invested £10,000 in September of uh, 2011, so about 10 years ago now, today that would be worth £30,444, which actually I've done the math here for us. Um, there was a rate of return using the data that we have here. I'll just grab that up for us. That actually the fund has averaged over 13% yearly growth, which is absolutely incredible. That compounded over a long period of time is exceptional. And if you want to know what I'm personally doing with this information, I am actually restructuring my portfolio slightly to be able to better incorporate ESG funds into my actual holdings, purely for the fact that not only does it give great returns over the long term so far by past performance, and of course, past performance is not an indicator of future performance, but it's also good to know that we will be investing in things that are going to help not just the returns but also society at large so ultimate win-win strategy from my personal viewpoint so overall you can see i'm really positive about esg funds that's not to say that it doesn't come with some downsides of course companies whenever they have an opportunity to perceive in a good light they can use this um, literally purely for marketing purposes so it is kind of key to kind of know that some companies might just be doing the bare minimum just to meet these criteria so that they can fit into these funds. And also it's really key as well to kind of actually look through the companies that are in the fund if you're really focused on excluding certain companies because the ESG criteria is very subjective. So, you know, what one company might say is great environmental practices, maybe you would look at that and say, actually, I don't agree with something they're doing here as well. So that is always one thing to consider. But overall, I think it's great that there's a conscious effort to actually screen for companies that are doing, you know, great things in the world of sustainability moving ahead, not just for the environment, not just for people, but the way companies are run in general as well. And that's something that I personally stand behind and support. And it's fantastic to see that actually this way of investing has also been giving great returns. And it's clear to see why, you know, if companies are thinking long term, the company has a great focus on developing their staff and employees and they're managed well, then it's a recipe hopefully for a great company moving ahead. That is everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and make sure and subscribe to the channel if you'd love to have more content like this. And of course, give the video a like as well if you really enjoyed this. I've actually got two videos on the screen right here that I think you'll really enjoy, which we'll just share a bit more on the stock market and investing. So make sure you go ahead and check out those as well. But that's me for the rest of the day. And I'll see you.